Hi friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to do study second chapter collection of data seven part. In this class we are going to discuss what is pilot survey and what is census and sample survey. Let's begin our class. Friends, first we call pilot survey. Friends, pilot survey means it is the pretesting of the questionnaire. In the simple sense, we can say that if we prepare a questionnaire, we want to try out in a sample group. That is mean by pre-testing of the questionnaire or pilot survey. Next, we can what is meant by census and sample survey. Friends, now we can look what is census and sample survey. First one, the collection of data in a large scale population is known as census survey. Friends, it is, it is mean that the data collection done in a large scale population is known as census survey and it is done in India during every 10 years. The first census was done in 1881. Uh, all remember this point, okay? Next one, it is also called as complete enumeration. Friends, first point, it is studies a very unit in detail. Friends, it is saying that in the census survey, it is studies a very population in detail. That is saying here, next one, the result obtained will be highly accurate and reliable. Friends, it is saying that it is very correct and it is, it is a time-bound data. That is saying here, next point, it is, it is, this is free from sampling errors. Friends, it is saying that it is free from all type of errors. That is saying here, next one. Friends, collected, collected data are useful for further studies. Friends, it is saying that the collected data is useful for second-hand information. That is saying here, we can look one more time, advantages. First point, it studies every unit in detail. The result obtained will be highly accurate and more reliable. This is free from sampling errors. Collected data are useful for further studies. Next, we can look what are the disadvantages. First one, needs more time, needs more, it needs more enumerator, more expensive, not applicable for infinity population, possibility of errors due to the extensive size of data. We can look first point, needs more time. Friends, it says that to collect census survey, we need a more time. That is, that is saying here. Next one, needs more enumerators. Friends, to collect data, we need a more enumerators. That is saying here. We can look next point. More expensive. Friends, it is saying that it is highly expensive and more expensive. That is saying here. Next one, not applicable for infinite population. Friends, it is saying that it is not applicable for a large area of the population. That is saying here. Next one, possibility of errors due to the extended size of data. Friends, it is saying that it is not possible to ask all type of question to all the people. That is saying here. Friends, we can look one more time. Advantages. It is studies every unit in detail. The result obtained will be highly accurate and more reliable. It is free from sampling errors. Collected data are useful for further studies. Disadvantages. Needs more time. Needs more enumerators. More expensive. Not applicable for infinite population. Possibility of errors due to the extensive size of data. Trends. Sample survey. Sample survey. A survey conducted by taking sample to represent the characteristics of a population under the study is referred to as sample survey friends it is mean that when we want to collect collect so many uh, so many information we select a group of population and collect information from them that is mean by sampling survey then we can what are the advantages and disadvantages of sample survey friends we can look what are the advantages and the disadvantages of sample survey. Let's begin first point. Less expensive, less time consuming, more reliable, detailed study of the certain unit is possible. Next we can look disadvantages. 
first point faulty selection of the sample would lead to wrong interpreters sample selection may not be applicable in all cases difficult to make generalization is heterogeneous friends it is saying that when we select a group we we want to cover a lot otherwise we get full wrong answers that is saying here next one sample selection may not be applicable in all cases friends it is saying that the sample selection of the population is not possible in the all cases that is saying here next one difficult to make generalization is heterogeneous friends when we want to classify all the term it is very it is very large it is heterogeneous that is saying here we can what are the advantages and disadvantages one more time advantages less expensive less time consuming more reliable A detailed study of the selected unit is possible A disadvantages faulty selection of the sample would lead to wrong interpreters sample selection may not be uh, appropriate uh, applicable in all cases difficult to make generalization is heterogeneous friends that's all for today if you like the video please give thumbs up share and subscribe bye god bless you all